There's a fast exam. This is the right upper quadrant. You can see the kidney very well, and you can see the liver tip. The only thing that I want to see when you're looking at the right upper quadrant is the diaphragm, the spine, and gain the entire Morrison's pouch. All I see here is this one area, which is not sufficient. You have this view here, which I think is an attempt to try to get the diaphragm, which you see very briefly right there. Uh, but again, you don't see the diaphragm, you don't see the spine, so the right upper quadrant is technically limited. This is a different patient, but this is an example of what I like to see in addition to the views that you obtain. I can see the spine, I can see the diaphragm really well, I don't see the spine continue, so I know there's no fluid in the chest. And so this is the uh, more posterior portion of the FAST exam, which I need to see. This is the left upper quadrant here. First off, the probe is backwards. This is, I believe, the spleen. This is the kidney. Uh, you want to reverse it. Um, the indicator, which is the Z here, is pointing towards the patient's feet, and you want it to be pointing towards the patient's head. Um, here is also technically limited only because I'm unable to see the spleno diaphragmatic space, which would be someplace over here. And that's the most sensitive area where you want to look uh, for free fluid in the left upper quadrant. This is an example of a different patient in the left upper quadrant. I can see the spleno diaphragmatic space really well in this clip and then the provider moves to get more of a uh, spleno renal space that you can see over there in the beginning of the clip right here. Finally, one last example of what I want to see in, this, in the left upper quadrant. You can see the spleen here in the kidney and you do see the spleno diaphragmatic space over there and then a nice view of the spleno renal space. And it just is more clear to me and I can see all the anatomy needed and I um, think this is what I want to see compared to your clip which is again right here. So I hope you can appreciate the difference between what I just showed you and this clip here which is yours. So main take home points uh, with the FAST exam in the right upper quadrant, I do need to see the inferior pole of the kidney and the tip of the liver, which is great, but I also need to see the, uh, the diaphragm, the spine, and the posterior, more dependent portion of Morrison's pouch. And then also in the left upper quadrant here, make sure you have the indicator to the patient's head um, and not towards the feet like it's here in this clip. And also that you try to do your best that you can to get a view of the spleno um, diaphragmatic space and the spleno renal space. So hope this helps. Thank you so much for saving.